Hello everybody and welcome back to .hackgu. Last time we spent 30 damn minutes on the desktop, and now we're not. We're going to the world right now. Okay. We are loading in. <laughs> Jesus, there we go. Okay. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Medic troop, I don't care. Screw you. Thread and response. Nope. <laughs> not re elementals. Nope. Absolutely. Oh, shit. Animal that runs away. A chim chim or a lucky animal. Kind of like a horse or maybe a bird. Maybe an anteater. Okay, that's a lucky animal. You're right. It isn't. It's an NPC which, if you run up and catch it, kill it. If you run up and catch it, you will get a lucky effect. An effect that's very beneficial for a player. It's pretty useful, so do your best in tracking them down and kicking them. Okay. That's useful. Big chim chim. That's this. Uh, the other day I saw a bar I broke a barrel and I strange chim chim. It was the then the chim chim attacked me. Okay, came out of a barrel. In that case, it was probably a king chim chim. King chim chims are a special kind of chim chim. Normal chim chims will drop chim spheres and run away when you kick them. But king chim chims will get mad and counterattack if you try to kick them. King chim chims. <laughs> Jesus. King chim chims have a main attack that's a, a mid-air breath attack. There will be a faint shadow underneath. All right. You should receive a large number of chim spheres. Okay, that's it. The dark guy PK'd me. Um, that's not black. Stalker PKs. Oh shit! You've been PK'd before. Okay, so basically he's just falling around. Okay. Oh shit! Yeah, any chance was that PKer named Doppelganger? You're right. Uh, oh, I mean it's a monster. There's a monster out like that out there. It's a monster that takes on the exact appearance of a player and normally doesn't do much except wander around. But when it spots a player, it'll attack without notice. It's set to have a much higher level than the player it's attacking. So theoretically, no one can beat them, even though there is an HP cap. The reason you felt like it was following you everywhere is because they're in every field, but for some reason they never show up in dungeons. If you ever see one, well, the best thing to do is run away without being spotted. No, wait, does it wasn't. So it's a monster. Yeah, doppelgangers are bastards. They're really hard. Black cat in heart. I don't. Oh, black cat in love. Soloing. Don't care. Oh, here we go. Sacred, warm, croaking, black currents, purebred, ocean blue cloud, and Cassiopeia. Uh, truthful marbles. Pff, truthful marbles. Bum. Up front, blazing camellia. Okay. Monster feels a vision. Don't care. I just want to read all this shit so that I don't have to do it later. Octo mayonnaise. Okay. <laughs> Official site. Please. How much more? <laughs> Look at all this. Jeez. What the fuck? There's so much. Oh, oh, here we go. Jobs. These are the classes. Twin blades. Uh, blade brandier, which is like the longsword guy. Edge Punisher, which is a great sword user. Lord Partisan, which is a spear dude. Tribal Grappler, which is like a fist fighter. Flick Reaper, which is just a guy with a scythe. Steam Gunners have guns. And Adept Rogues. They can equip lots of different things. They can have a great sword, twin blades, and a scythe, which is pretty sweet. Harvest Cleric, which is the healer. And Shadow Warlock is basically just the guy. Oh, and Macabre Dancer. Expert status and ability magic. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, Shadow Warlocks are just like the, if, uh, you know, the fighter casters. I will now read all of this. Sea monsters, supernaturals, avians, plants, demons, mechas. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, good. Factions. Uh, okay, I don't care. Races, humans, beasts. Ah, yeah, there's like beast people now. Non-players, uh, <laughs> come on, elves, Jim Jims. I don't know what they are, Grunties, welcome back, Grunties, Vital Vistas, Gods and Goddesses, Vital Vistas, History, please, Genesis of Grief, oh, this is like a lot of shit that you can read about the actual history of the world. Grunty Race, Banquet of Conspiracy, Path of Evil, Goddess Aurora, you mean Aura? <laughs> Battle against the gods. God's rebirth. Please. <laughs> Please. I don't want to get people mad at me. They're going to be so mad. Okay, good. Thank you. Right. We're in. <laughs> We're in the game. And I'm going to have to read like another 20 goddamn walls of text.
and everybody's gonna get like super mad because they're mad er okay so <laughs> last time on dot hack we got data drained by kite and now we're a bitch again what's going on why is my equipment different different you mean zero yeah there we go what the i'm back at level one what about my items my member list my equipment <laughs> gone it's all gone my whole character has been completely reformatted hey did you see that guy just now with the really weird arm <laughs> totally arm He would know something about this. Hey, Ovon, could you give me a whole bunch of gear, please? Because <laughs> I kind of got fucked. All right, sometimes the next destination is going to go to the map of the cursor. I don't care. I know where I'm... Oh, actually, you know what? I don't. Okay, there it is. So, yeah. So, if you press select, you go to the main map. You can see everything. And then when you exit that, the mini map is gone. So, you got to press select again to bring it back up. And that little swirling circle is where we need to go. So yeah, we are now back at level 1. I don't remember what level we were before. We were like level 148. We were like the highest possible, like 182. There's a specific level that you were when you were... Hey, do you know what that guy's job was? I don't think I've seen a design like that. I didn't look that closely. I saw him head towards the harbor. Maybe I'll go get a closer look. Okay. We need to go chase after... Oven. I'm not gonna call him Oven. Even though his name is totally Oven. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. So we're back at level one, unfortunately. Hey, wait a minute! Oh damn it! I was I was level two before. Shit. They denied me a level. <laughs> remember when I was leveling? Whenever remember when I was playing with the two guys who PK'd me in the beginning? I got to level two? No? Okay. But uh yeah, I was level two, I think. Or I was like right at level two. So I gotta do that all over again. Damn it. I gotta go get like one level to get back to where I was. Wouldn't that suck if you're playing an MMO for like and you got to the level cap and then your character got reset? Oh my god, that player looks really hot. Really? I thought he looked kinda creepy. So you like guys that look like that? <laughs> Where'd he go? Uh I think he went down that alley. Thank you for being really, really, um... I don't know, thanks for supplying me with this, with the information. Inadvertently. Man, what is the point of this area? It's like so far, look at this. Like look, that's the trail you gotta walk. You know, oh my god. Oh, that's where the shops are? Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, warp points. I remember now, you can use these things to warp around the city. So you don't have to run all the way down here just to get to the shop. So you can take these warp points, which are the green dots, so you can just warp around the town. I remember that. That's new. That was not in the first four games. I'm just gonna... When I refer back to the first four games, I'm just going to say the first game. Or the... Uh, okay, you know what I'll say? The first series. So that's what I'll say. If I ever refer back to the, uh, the first four games, that's how I'll refer to them. The first series. So yeah, great work, thank you. I didn't do anything, but uh, thanks for the compliment on my work. I tried to work hard. My character's very lanky. Damn, it's those player killers. Well, it doesn't matter, we're in a town, they can't huh. kill me here. It's not much of a challenge, when they're so pathetically weak. Yeah, I know what you mean. Fighting those noobs is making us all rusty. Yeah, then why don't you actually fight people that who can fight back? That we fought the last time? He really wasn't that bad. Um, you mean we're going after him next? Hell yeah. There is no way in hell. I can back down after what happened last time. E yes, man. I completely destroyed you. What are you... <laughs> serious? Wait, what the hell am I hiding for? 
Why do I have to hide from bastards like them? It's pathetic. Well, you're level one! Although, then again... It doesn't really matter, because I'm level one, and I have no experience or items to lose, so who cares? You're kidding! What the hell's going on? You know what's going- oh shit! God damn it. Gaspard, are you okay? Sam Regal, or Regal, whatever. Um, what happened? Oh god, it's Teddy. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Hey, are you a new player? No. You're a new? No. Oh, <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I guess I must have scared you, huh? God damn it. Hell no, I'm not a new. I'm the terror of death. Terror of what? What? Wait, are you talking about the famous PKK Haseo? Yep. Oh, you're a player killer killer. Yep. I knew I'd heard about him somewhere before. But I'm pretty sure the player's name was Haseo. Nope. Are you sure? No. Definitely. Yep. No, you fool. Hey, look. It's me. I'm the real PKK Haseo. <laughs> what are you serious? <laughs> I'm sorry, but you'll have to gain more levels before you can say anything like that. What? Hey. If you're a noob, we'll be happy to teach you the basics. Oh of this my game. god, I know. Actually, <laughs> Syllabus and I are part of the noob support guild called Canard. Noob support guild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a guild that teaches noobs all they need to know to become top players. Oh my god. We're actually pretty famous, you know. Oh my <laughs> Oh yeah. I need to give you our member addresses first. Oh my god. Here. You're so annoying already. A card syllabus is member address and gas cards. Member addresses are an address system. I know! Oh, man. Just for communication just my with friends in the world. When inviting someone weirdos. into your party, check their status in the right sight of their of member address. <laughs> I'm like I was talking even. Oh, right now, and if it says busy, it means that they're in the world or involved with something death. else and aren't available. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just hang out with them for a little while longer. Look, it doesn't mean that they'll join just because you invite them to. Um, were you listening to me? No. Yeah, I was listening. <laughs> you were? Really? Yes. Yes, really. Anyway, come on. You're gonna teach me the basics, right? So hurry up and let's move on to the next lesson. Okay, then let's go to an area. Now, invite us into your party and we'll go find the chaos game. No! Thank you! Oh, I didn't actually have to do it. You need to have the chaos gate. Yes! Warp point! Poof! Yay! Warp points! Get out of the way, you son of a bitch! Alright, so. Uh, Syllabus, uh, the guy in green, he is voiced by Sam Regal, who uh, does a shitload of roles. Uh, I couldn't even begin to uh, tell you how many roles he does. And then Gaspard is actually Dave Wittenberg, who did uh, the voice of Teddy in Persona 4, and uh, the one that you'll know him from if you watch my shit. Uh, he is uh, Welkin Gunther from uh, Valkyria Chronicles, so yeah. Dave Wart Wittenberg is a boss. Alright, so we can warp around. Thank God. Dome! Poof! You son of a bitch! Let's go to the dome! Okay. So it takes a long time to warp, but hey, it's faster than walking. Let's go in! And then we can go to a place, we can do some shit, and uh, yeah. This is the case. I know! I know that. Okay, well then, a good area for a noob is... Delta Peaceful Leading Freedom. That should be a good place to start. <laughs> I get the feeling me and Haseo are going to be like the same wavelength. It's like, oh, I'm going to teach you how to do this. I know how to do it! <laughs> you know? Uh, bookmark. Ah, here we go. So yeah, you can check the bookmarks for any areas that you have, like, the full name to. Uh, Ulm Shell's here. Perfect area for level 10s. And maybe challenging for level 10s. Alright, Peaceful Eating Freedom. Here, level 3. Okay. 
And it's a dungeon, apparently. So that's cool. <sighs> so basically, there are two kinds of places you can go to. There's uh, fields, like area fields, like the very first area we went to. Well, that was like... Attention! Oh. Bringing one noob to the dungeon! Repeat, bringing one noob to the dungeon! I told you that I'm not a noob. Oh. I know, I know. You're really the terror of death. Fuck right? off. I can understand <laughs> you wanting to roleplay something like that, but I'm not really sure if you should do terror of death, you know? Oh my. Player killers are going to come after you, and it'll definitely be rough for you. Hey, just shut up and listen. So you're saying you're really the PKK Haseo, the Terror of Death? Yes! And when you logged in, your level went down from 133 to 1? That's it, that's the cap. No way! I've never heard of a bug quite like that! Wow! I'm not lying! Okay, but still... Gaspard, that's what he's roleplaying! Fuck off! <laughs> oh, now I get it! <laughs> That's some really complicated character background. It's not role play. Don't be embarrassed. We'll accept your character concept. Oh fuck you! Just relax. Can come with. Oh, you're so annoying. You please listen to me already. Nope. Apparently not. Oh, but anyway, what I was gonna say before is there are three or there's two kinds of areas. At least I can remember. There is. Uh, the fields, like the fair, the very first area we went to where we had to get symbol fragments and we went into a uh, temple and get an item. And then there's dungeons like this. So these are like enclosed areas. They have areas just the same, except uh, there is no... Oh, shit. The enemy has been spotted. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe we should start by telling you about the skill trick. I know what the skill trick is. I already know about that. But how could you know? You're just a noob. Fuck. No, I'm not. God damn. Uh, why don't we give it a shot? Well, maybe if you... Oh. Okay, come on, Haseo. Let's go fight the monsters. Don't forget to use the skill trick. I know. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so angry. Okay, tough guys, bring it on. <laughs> Okay, can I change my... How do I... Oh, this is getting really annoying. I want to do the thing! Okay. Well, hey, having people that actually help is kind of nice. I never... I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Just to troll them, I'm not going to use it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Oh, 300 experience. Oh, right, because they're a higher level than me. Okay. Did you, uh, not know how to use the skill trigger? Fuck off! Shut up! I just forgot for a second. That's all. Okay. You can use the skill trigger during that. I know! It's really easy once you get the hang of it. So next time, remember. I know! Once you've mastered the skill trigger, you can do all. <laughs> for example, you can stop the enemy. I know! Good luck, Master. Oh. Stop treating me like a noob. <laughs> but hey, you are a noob. Fuck off. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh my god. Do you people ever listen? You're so annoying. The both of you. You're so annoying. Oh my god. Oh, so annoying. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. I mean, they're nice. They're trying to help, but goddamn, they just will not listen. Oh shit! What's this? Here goes. Hey, weird looking. Right, let's do it. <laughs> Dan Beasel. I don't know what that. Is. Oh my god, I'm about to die. Thank you. They sound weird too. There we go. That time I'll do it. There. Happy now. I'm just trying to get Rengekis. That's it. That's all I want. It's just some oh. That was nothing. Man. Okay. There we go. More monsters. Let's get going. Let's do it. Oh. Oh, stop that. Oh, you're so annoying. 
Oh god, am I gonna get into a combo thing here where it's like, oh, I gotta get the highest combo possible. But... Oh, what the hell? Oh, it was already dead. Okay. That's something that's really useful. You can't actually use the skill trigger on something that's already dead. So if you kill something and try to use the skill trigger in midair, or while it's in midair, uh, you won't actually waste it. That's pretty helpful. There's nothing in here. <sighs> so yeah, uh, Gaspard is an example of one of the beast people in the game. As you can see, he is uh, he is very much like a little dog man. And then, ow! Oh my god, ow. Hurt my foot there. <laughs> Sorry. That was in real life, not in the game. Um... So he's like a little dog man, and then Syllabus is just a regular human. Uh, I don't know how many other beast people you actually play with, to be honest. Uh, like how many other characters play as beast people? Not sure. It's been, it's been too long since I played this game, because basically I played it once, and then I uh, I never played it again. Not because I didn't like it, but just because, you know, the game is very story-ish. It's very much all story, so once you know the story, um, you're kind of done, you know. Can I please get a Rengeki? That's all I want. This badass. Man, come on! Ow, ow. Oh shit. Oh my god, he called in for reinforcements, you bastard. How dare you? Man, Gaspard's- I mean, uh, Syllabus is really strong. Hey. Um, hey. Gaspar, could you heal me? No? There we go. Hey, I got additional shit for that. And a health drink. Nice. What is this, Silent Hill? Alright, let's do it! But finally, we can actually play the game! Oh, we're not just reading stuff. Although, we had to read a little bit. It's okay. Aw, oh, man. Now, something that's really nice about uh, using those skills, I believe that uh, not only, you know, they, they kept saying, oh, you can interrupt shit with it, which is really useful, by the way. Uh, you can interrupt shit, but you're also invincible. So, if you interrupt one thing and then they have another enemy that's near them, uh, even if they hit you in the middle of the animation, they won't actually hit you. Uh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I remember this shit. Look at this. Okay, so this is an example of Chim Chims. Boom! That's a Chim Chim. This is a mysterious animal that resides in the world known as a Chim Chim. Approach it and kick it to acquire energy known as Chim Spheres. Chim Spheres are vital to operate the various steam machinery, so you should always keep at least 30 in stock. However, if you have too many, it may cause some difficulties. Fuck you! There we go. Alright. So you can do that a few times. Uh, where are you going? Come on. Fuck you! There we go. Okay, good. I'm done. Alright, so. Get a little bit of chim. chim shit. And, uh, yeah. So, you can kick those guys, and they give you Chim Spheres, which are useful to operate some machinery in the, uh, in the game. Like, in the levels. So, for example, uh, you could go through a level, and there might be a door that you have to open, and it actually requires Chim Spheres. So, every now and then, you do actually need to collect Chim Spheres, but that's about the extent of it. What is this? This is the same thing. Um, okay. Oh, no, 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 Get away. Okay. <laughs> Man, I feel sorry for the gyms. Jesus Christ. Why would you choose to live in a steam vent? Oh my god, isn't that hot in there? <laughs> How are you not burning to death, like, all the damn time? Oh, shit. There's another enemy. We've been fighting them all the time. Well. Now that you know how to use the skill trigger, let's learn about Rengeki. I know, Rengeki. I already know about... Uh, okay, then let's go and fight them! I'll tell you the timing to execute it, so make sure you use it. I know. Uh, listen to me, damn it! Don't worry, we're listening, all right. No, you're not! Yeah, right. You're not listening to me at all! Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're annoying me so much, even though I know they're super nice guys. They're just helping me. They're just trying to help out. Whoop. Rinkeki, fuck you. Boom. Oh my god, I love the way, I honestly really love the way he says Rinkeki. It's super badass. 
And this is, uh, you might know of this about me, but literally almost every, every single time I see uh, Yuri Lowenthal in a game, I'm always like, what the fuck are you doing in here? Get out of here, Yuri Lowenthal. This is one of the games where I won't do that because he's the main character. He's supposed to be here. It's not like Yuri Lowenthal is like a background character in like The Last of Us. You know what I mean? He's not just like a random bandit that I shoot in the throat with an arrow. You know what I mean? He's supposed to be here. He's the main character, so I don't care that it's Yuri Lowenthal. That's my only problem is when he's playing like a minor character, because he's a good voice actor. He should be playing more main characters. Or health drink. Hey, your Rengeki was pretty good. Oh, I'm duh. Oh, duh. Wow, way to go, Haseo. Nice. I was so bad when I was a new. Good job. I told you, I'm not a. Yeah, no one would think you're a noob with your skills. Then stop calling me one, you son of a bitch! <laughs> hey, come on! Let's keep going! <sighs> Are you even hearing anything I'm saying to you? Jesus. Alright, well, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end it off here. Next time we're going to continue through the dungeon with Syllabus and Gaspard. Uh, in the meantime, off camera, I'm going to kick some chims, and I'm going to get some chim spheres I'm going to fill up. So, I'll see you guys next time. So thanks for watching.